This portion of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited, fueling growth for people. The initial phase of government's conditional cash transfer system, a prepaid debit card, all set to be implemented by the end of November. The new debit card will replace the food coupon system to assist needy families. Social Services and Community Development Minister Melanie Griffin believes it would weed out those who abuse the system and also impact educational and health problems among the poor. We have coming up at the end of November uh, a pilot program that uh, we believe will assist us uh, in um, being able to monitor and provide more efficiently the um, uh, assistance to our people and that is where we will be introducing the prepaid card for persons who um, who will be receiving assistance instead of the food coupon okay but uh, I can tell you uh, you're with us today in our new building uh, new office space where we're able to have um, the office for the social safety net program in place, all the staff coming into place. So we're operating on all, all cylinders trying to um, get it up and running. Minister Griffin says the conditional cash transfer system will also help buffer any impact of the value added tax among the poor. We are working very diligently on the implementation. We know that uh, we are being depended on to uh, really buffer um, programs like that. And so uh, we are working very diligently to have it in place um, sometime uh, next year. Since 2008, the nonprofit organization Hands for Hunger has been on a mission to eliminate hunger and food waste in the Bahamas. And by doing that, the organization has partnered with several corporate sponsors to host its signature fundraising event, Paradise Plates, all in an effort to raise funds to feed thousands of hungry Bahamians. It was a night of culinary compassion as hundreds of Bahamians packed the Atlantis Ballroom Saturday night to not only sample scrumptious cuisine but support the fight against hunger in the Bahamas. Over the past six years, the Hands for Hunger organization has distributed 650,000 meals to hungry Bahamians and 10,000 meals on average per week. Wife of the Prime Minister Bernadette Christie was among several Bahamians who reasoned why they support this worthy cause. Um, it is sad to think that we have Bahamians that are going hungry and um, I'm just happy that we have somebody or persons that have come together to make something like this possible to really raise awareness and to get the average person like myself who may not have the time to go out and probably ride in a truck and give out meals but we can do this and give back. They have a huge car in there which is going up for a silent auction and lots of other prizes but they do so many good things you know feeding people who need assistance so I really try to make it a point every year to make this event. Statistics illustrate that nearly 28,000 Bahamians either do not have enough to eat or go to bed hungry every night. Interim Executive Director Erica Wells-Cox believes as the demand to feed the needy grows, so does the financial target to keep the program going. We raise about $100,000 every year and that goes to service our operations. We have two refrigerated trucks that we use to deliver the surplus food, the fresh surplus food, to our agencies. And this event event takes about six months to plan. At Hands for Hunger, we equate one dollar with one meal. So we're able to provide many, many meals for people who are in need. Additionally, Hands for Hunger has been quite fortunate when it comes to drumming up any type of support for the cause. However, organization officials can always use more hands on deck. We would like to expand our programs to include education, nutrition, food security, so we're looking to get bigger and better and to help even more Bahamians. And that does it for this portion of the news. Hear from the winners of this weekend's Roxanne Luther Regatta up next in sports with Kelsey Johnson.